Uh, now to that escalating battle over TikTok. Congress is set to vote on a bill as early as this week that could lead to a nationwide ban. And the new legislation has a lot of users worried about the future of the wildly popular platform. NBC's business correspondent Brian Chung is, is here with this story. You're following this back and forth. So for folks who haven't been following the story closely, bring us up to speed. How do we get to this point? Yeah, well, and by the way, this nationwide ban could happen relatively quickly because the House says that it's going to put it to a full floor vote later on this week. Now, after that point in time, it still needs to get passed by the Senate and then signed by the president before becoming into law. But we have to remember and take a step back over what this is all about. This is what lawmakers are saying concerns a national security issue. They're wor they worry that the Chinese parent company ByteDance has access and is perhaps giving da data from TikTok to the Chinese government. Those are allegations that TikTok uh, denies. They say that if they follow through on this nationwide ban, that it would destroy the livelihoods of all of these creators that have built reputations off of this app. So very interesting, but we'll see how it develops over the next. So the legislation basically says to TikTok, either divest yourself of the Chinese parent company, sell to someone else, or we'll ban you. Yeah, and that's what lawmakers are saying, that it's not really a ban that we're going to give six months once it's passed for uh, this Chinese company to sell off TikTok. If they do that, then TikTok still goes on. No, no uh, you know, issues or, or interruptions there. But if they don't, then it would be banned. Now, TikTok says that they are unlikely to maybe make that a six-month sale happen. So that's why the concern about this ban here. But again, technically, uh, that would take some time. And, and if you think about it also, it's March, right? Six months from now, we'll get close to the election. So there are a lot of uh, politicians that might be using this social media app. And Biden him himself actually joined uh, around the, the Super Bowl. So the campaign is using it, and, and they it weirdly have that, that messaging as well. That's, it's weird because Biden also says he'll sign the ban mm -hmm. if Congress sends it to him. Trump tried to ban he TikTok tried to as well, but now he's not for the TikTok mm -hmm. ban. So it's a, these Mixed politicians, messaging. everyone's Mixed all over messaging. the place. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And not just on TikTok, yeah. by the way. Well, right. yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Brian. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.